Hi folks, uh, this is a piece of uh, the lovely uh, Saunders Waterford 90 pound cold pressed paper, marvellous paper, my favourite paper, and it's only 90 pounds but my word it's a heavy weight in uh, other ways. Right, so it was really nice, I wet the paper but it was just a, a sort of a nice blue sky. Not too heavy, but just just put some nice colours in here. A bit of a alizarin mixed with a bit of burnt uh, raw sienna. Uh, just this all dries lighter than when you put it on. Was Suffolk scene. I, I'm, we're going for a little holiday in, in uh, I went to the dates. Uh, place called Bungay. Not far from the coast, the Suffolk coast. Albra. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely place. Southwold, where the Adams Brewery is, which I love. Okay, that'll do, and we'll put a bit of, bit of land under that. Uh, let that dry a little bit. Sort of nice pinky clouds. You can play about with the paper for a couple of minutes at least before it starts to bite back. Right. Let's go a bit of, bit of, bit of cloud in there. A bit of red. Okay. Do a, do a sort of a, just a field and a few trees, There's nothing spectacular, but I've got a bit of time so I can uh, do this. I'll, I'll dry it, I'll give it a dry just so I can crack, crack on with it. All right, uh, pause. Right, let's uh, get the hake again and take the water off. Um, the water off. Now I'm going to go along that that the edge of that field there with some uh, with some sort of a greeny colour, bit of blue. So it's still a little bit distant. Let's give some shape to some of this. Hi, right, okay, that's uh, that. Now this is where we're coming in with the hard stuff. So we'll, we'll have to have some Payne's Grey, some burnt sienna.
touch of yellow in there. And I will uh, more dark in there. Okay, there was that one. Now we want to put a bit of texture in. Uh, good texture brush is uh, uh, this one. It, it came. Uh, uh, Glenn Rappo was my my friend. Glenn Rappo. Glenn lives in Hawaii. Contacted Jackson's Art in London and sent that one. Uh, that one. No one. Very kind. So, very grateful. And just uh, as I received them, a few not so long afterwards, I went into acrylic and didn't do watercolour for a while, but I'm sort of enjoying them again for for a while. So let's just just put a bit of bit of texture in, a bit of nondescript texture. The green. You don't need to buy greens. Oh gosh, oh dude, dear, 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 dear. Not what we've done. Well, there are a lot of birds coming in there. Right, they're hardly showing up. Go on, yeah. It flicks. This is where we put the poppies. It's a random sort of grass effect. Right, I think we'll put a bit of a little fence in there. Whoops. Bit of a hedge right there. Well, oh, we'll leave that in. Don't put all your fence in, just leave a bit out. Got a bit of a cauliflower there. Right, now I'll get my little brush for 
the dust for puppies. Uh, have to mix this with a bit of the, this is the red. red. I, th I think probably well, this one would be better with a mix of a bit of, bit of that yellow. Paint is, is all wet. A bit of, bit of white gouache in there because it's uh, um, it probably goes to nothing. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it to dry for a bit. Um, I don't really want to do much more th th other than get my little grips brush and do some little birds over there ready to come, come down and swoop on the uh, well, swoop. Cover your blocks up. Uh, get a couple here. Okay. Uh, I'll put a few lines in here and there. No, I don't have to do it. Uh, no, I won't. I won't. Uh, I'll put yellow in. Okay, that that'll do. Don't do any more than that. I'll put that in a mount. Uh, further and uh, we'll put the big mount on which just fits oh well there we are uh, I'll give it a signature uh, always always sign your work even if it's not very good you never know somebody might like it Right, okay, well, there we are. Uh, I'll photograph that and uh, see what happens. Thanks for watching, folks. Oh, it's a bit straight. Bye bye.